Hi, I'm with uh, Steve Armstrong and Johnny Douche. Steve, can you come back, talk back to what happened in St. Felicien? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a, it was a real unfortunate accident. Um, you know, I, I, I have some injuries to my back. I've got a fractured couple of back, fractured vertebrae. Uh, it's just one of those racing deals. You know, I feel bad for everybody involved, but uh, that's boat racing. Sometimes accidents happen, and uh, we just got to move on. You were, after St. Felicien, you were second in point, kind of uh, awkward situation, but you got an offer. <laughs> Yeah, I got, a, I got a message from my buddy here. He said he wanted to uh, fill in with the 11, put the 11 on his boat. I'll never be able to thank him enough. Um, it doesn't even matter where we finish right now. I got all kinds of confidence in this guy, but I feel like we've already won. Johnny, going on now, filling for Steve, how does it feel? Oh, it feels good. We're honored to come and run with him. Uh, you know, I'm happy. You were in Valley Field and you were, you were going to be part of the ECHG series, so it's a good chance for you to, to fill the field yeah, well, we got the same problem. We don't have the uh, horsepower the other guys have, but uh, we're going to try to keep and get, you know, get some, get them some points. Thank you for your support and have a great weekend, guys. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Shake it, big. <laughs> J'étais avec Yann Beaupré, pilote du F-36. Yann, à Valifé, un incident, un autre à Saint-Fé. Comment qu'on se sent? Um, découragé? Non. Hey, regarde, on met bouché double. L'incident de Valifé, ben, on a un petit peu trop poussé la machine. C'est un accident, ça arrive. Saint-Félicien, c'est un incident qui serait supposé jamais arriver. Et malheureusement, c'est arrivé. Les conditions météo, il y, y a plusieurs facteurs qui sont en rentrant en ligne de compte. C'est arrivé. Heureusement, puis grâce à Dieu, même beaucoup de monde ne comprennent pas, il n'y a pas eu de blessé là-dedans. À cette heure, ben, on a mis bouché double, on a réparé, puis on est titre. Parlant de réparation, ça t'a pris combien de temps à réparer l'embarcation? Puis quels étaient les dommages sur ton embarcation? Bien, on a fixé, on a remplacé ce qu'on appelle le bim avant, qui fait partie de, de, des réparations majeures du bateau. Ça fait un peu partie du squelette. Euh, on a mis des heures et des heures. Regarde, à un moment donné, on a arrêté de compter. Là. Mais mettons que j'ai passé une coupe de nuit à me coucher à 3 heures du matin assez facilement. Ce matin, on revient sur l'eau, sur un parcours qui est réputé pour être off. Est-ce que tu as une appréhension, sachant ce qui s'est passé? Puis le, par rapport, as -tu, as -tu, as tu pu retester l'embarcation après tes réparations? Malheureusement, non. On était trop, on était trop serré en temps pour aller faire, aller faire des essais. Euh, mais en, pour le comportement, ça ne devrait rien changer, parce qu'on n'a rien changé à, à la coque en tant que telle. Mais on euh, a vu pour la journée, vu la réparation majeure, alors on part à l'extérieur pour les deux premières courses de la, de la fin de semaine. Alors aujourd'hui, je pars à l'extérieur. On me donner une, une chance de me remettre dedans. Puis, on va garder à Bello pour nous autres, mais les autres, ben, ils vont prendre leur robe vu que c'est réputé pour être un robe ici. Ben, je te remercie pour avoir souhaité bonne chance pour la fin de semaine. Merci. And uh, you'll know if one of the boats hits it at the right angle. 10 seconds left before the start. It's going to be a good fast start. They're a little bit late. Yeah, they're all a little late. The 10 is going to lead them down to the first turn. When you're all by yourself, you lead down the first turn, and you think, well, if those guys want to be that friendly and let me go, I'll do it. Good battle for second, developing those, and down that back stretch. Looks like the 28 and the 11. But they're spreading out now. And here's a challenging turn on the race course for everybody. You'll see if everybody gets through there clean. It looks good so far. So boat number 10, Rob Stevenson, way out front. Second place, the 28, third place, the 11. Fourth place, the 313, Hydroid Racing. And Alan Bush going by in the 711. And Alan Bush is in. It doesn't sound too good. He said, looks like he's having trouble. And in a stock class like this, or uh, well, the Formula 2500, they give them a cylinder head. But they're only four-cylinder engines and a lot of parity. You can't afford to give up anything to one of your competitors. Look at this battle going on for second, though. Pretty tight down there in turn two. The 11 and the 28. 
That's Jan LeCompte. And Tom Huguenier on the inside. Good battle for second as they head down this front stretch. And a good battle for fourth. 36 on the outside and a 313 on the end. Second place on the back stretch. They're still at it. Juganier and LeCompte. Our leader goes by again, boat number 10, Rob Stevenson. Two down, two to go. The 11, Bielauer pulling away a little bit here, or that's Tom Huguenier. Then the 20 in on the outside, Jan LeCompte. 36, Yancey going by, and then the Hydroid Racing, Frederick Couchier. flag out for your leader. Three down, one to go. Still a good battle for second. Tom Huguenier on the inside. Jan LeCop on the outside. Look at that battle. Oh, and they're both flying them. 313 going by, looking light. Oh, we got somebody sitting on the back stretch. The 36, the Yancey, Jan Bupre is uh, DNF. White flag out for our guy in last place here. It's a 7-Eleven and checker being ready. For our leader, Rob Stevenson, past winner for Valley Field, racing since 2007. Still fighting for second here. The 11 will take it. Good battle for second on that heat. Fourth place going to the 313. And that'll move the 711 into fifth. And one boat uh, DNF to 36. So next up, two heats of Grand Prix racing. 10 boats here, so five a heat. First heat will be lane one, Bert Henderson. Lane two, Tom Pacraduni. Lane three, Ken Brody. Lane four will be Marty Wolf in the 99, 93, I'm sorry. And uh, lane five will be Eric Langevin in the boat number 12. 